Haggerty, live in Cleburne right now. We've seen several flooded roads all over Johnson County. And Dan, you've even witnessed some rescues and an arrest. Yeah, an arrest of a man who was previously rescued. They say that he was coming down Old Foamy Road here, went around this sign that's clearly marked high water, went through the water that you see beyond it, and then got stuck before crossing another flooded part of the road by another creek about a half mile down. When he turned around, they say, to try and cross this water again, he was unable to cross, and that's when the emergency workers got here. Because he went around that sign, though, he did leave in handcuffs. We have some video of that. Take a look. Uh, while he was being walked to the car, we asked him, we said, did you see the sign? He said no. He said he didn't go around any sign. We said, did you go through the water? He said no to that as well. What he didn't know is that we talked to a person who had been here since the beginning who said they crossed the water just before he tried to, told us the whole story. Here's what they had to say. Uh, we had the Jeep, so we decided to cross it back before it got too bad. What did it look like when you crossed it? Uh, when we crossed it, it was probably about ankle high. Uh, definitely not like what you see right now. Now, the man that just said that, he said that they were out here checking out the flood damage, checking out the flooding, storm chasing, so to speak. After he saw that person get taken away in handcuffs, I started looking around for him. He was gone really quickly. Probably a good idea. I do know that authorities are going to be back here to check on the road. It appears to be damaged slightly. This sign is going to stay up as long as there's water on it. Once it recedes, they're going to come back and see how to proceed with this road, as well as dozens of others around this area, more than 30 with flood water right now in Johnson County. Reporting live, Dan Haggerty, CBS 11 News.